In the world of trucks, there is what's claimed and there's what's proven. You know, at Ram, we do a lot of research as to why our owners are purchasing mm -hmm. the trucks. I mean, we're always looking for ways to improve. We really want to know what, what the uh, owners out there think of our trucks and why they're buying them. We hear from our uh, owners that they really love the ride. It's mm -hmm. smooth, you know, it's capable. That's a big thing with trucks. Uh, exactly, can't lose that capability. Yeah, they are tools. Exactly. Right? Suspension tuning in itself is kind of a black art. You know, you get the compromise between ride and handling. And in the case of the Ram 1500, it's uh, payload capacity. So. How do you balance those three and still get a smooth ride? Part of the reason is the multi-link coil suspension of the Ram 1500. We've got all these guys here, they're helping us out. We've got some techs here. We're gonna rig this thing up so the public can see how smooth this ride really is. Let's get out of their way. Hi, right, Jeff. Hi, you're in water with the Ram truck. Glad to meet you, man. Glad Good to meet you. Jeff Rob Burns. Nice Good to meet you, sir. You. Thanks for having us out here. You bet. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all coming. Great. Jeff's a supervisor right here in the train yards. He's gonna let us play in his backyard a little bit. Jeff, uh, you know the reason we came out here today is because we want to run our uh, Ram 1500 here through, uh, through a little test at your rail yard that's going to show that our rear coil suspension is you know, very capable and has a smooth ride. Looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. If they hold up like these springs here, you've got a good product. How durable are they? I mean, how often do you have to switch out a spring? Uh, this car is a uh, 1989 model car, and I would be willing to bet some of those original springs in there. Wow. Well, I mean, what kind of mileage are we Two talking? and a half million miles. Wow. I mean, look how much ground clearance there is. There's a center rail here. It's about 10 inches high. Look how smooth that is. Clearing it, no problem. Wow. He's hauling, too, man. I know. Look at the suspension work. A typical person isn't going to go down a, a railroad track and do this, but this could simulate a washboard road somewhere. Can't wait to see the cameras on yeah, this one. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, we just finished test one. Let's take a look at some of the footage and see what we got. From the exterior of the truck, that the cab and box were really flat, nice and smooth. And in this shot right here, I love this shot because you've got your five suspension links that are really doing their job to hold the wheel and tire in place. And you've got the coil spring. It's just, look at all that energy it's, it's absorbing. It's, that's really awesome. But look at the center picture here. I mean, you got your spare tires barely moving. Look at the articulation up there, and you can really see it in the top left corner up here. I mean, that thing's moving around quite a bit, and there's hardly any, any, any jounce at all on that, that bump stop. You know, it's not, oh, it's not contacting it at all. No. After seeing what you put your truck through today, I'm a believer in this. Comparing uh, your suspension to our rail car suspension, that's the key. Your springs are doing what they're supposed to do. You get a smooth ride out of it, and that's uh, that's essential. Our competitors are not using this; they're using leaf springs. Right. And a, a leaf spring has to do the work of all of these components here. Now we need to do now. We got to load it up with some uh, payload and uh, try testing yeah. it again. Yeah. Let's let's go do this. So now it's time to do a payload test. Show everyone what this truck can do under stress when it's carrying a load. We got about eight, eight to nine. Uh, Railroad tires, we're gonna load those on the back of the truck. We'll run the same test again and uh, show everybody Ram's payload capacity. Take a look. Yeah, let's go do it. This is really gonna show what this truck is built to do. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. We get loaded about eight railroad tires on the back of this thing. I mean, look at that wheel articulation. There's all the jounce, but the, the chassis's not moving. Oh, suspension's so busy in the bed cavern, it's flat. I mean, look oh, at it. That's awesome. It's perfectly level, you know? That was great. Fantastic. Wow, man. What a day. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, what'd you think? I think they're doing what they're supposed to. Like you can see, where you had a load on there, you had a little compression, but you're still nowhere near bottoming out. Like our rail cars, that's the key to our movement is you got to have springs that are going to do their job. Right, right. And uh, compress when, with a load and then retract when, uh, when you're not loaded. And uh, they're doing what they're supposed to do right there. I tell you what, y'all making a good product. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you. You bet. Really appreciate it. Appreciate All it. Right. All right. Let's boogie. Let's go. That was a great day. Long day. Long Hot day. day. <laughs> Hot day in Texas. We proved to everyone that we have a great riding truck. Proven. Definitely proven. <laughs> All right, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>